Women are empowered throughout the fabric of Rwandan society and even make up 64% of the parliament, says Rwandan ambassador to the United States, Mathilde Mukantabana. Primary and secondary schools are free. It means that once you give them that strong uh, beginning, then you are uh, with the other programs at the higher level of university and professional education. Women are as competing as men. So we have women who are now uh, flying the high skies in my country. But Mukantabana says in other parts of Africa, women remain excluded from social, economic and political power by a lack of education and the inability to own and inherit property. For me, women's right is a human right. That's the bottom line. Empowering women benefits an entire nation, says Mozambique's ambassador to the U.S., Amelia Matosumbana, who also stresses that it cannot be accomplished without men's help. Why? Because in our societies in Africa, you know that uh, the society is male-dominated. And if we don't have men working along with us, we can have much more difficulties than what we are having now. It's fortunate that uh, men are becoming much more sensitive to the gender issues. For that reason, laws alone will not bring enough change, says Kamisa Kamara with the National Endowment for Democracy. The structural barriers that affect women um, on the African continent and elsewhere also, uh, mostly tradition, religion, uh, patriarchy, etc., are barriers that can only be addressed through a change in mentality. That change is key, the ambassadors say, because full development cannot happen if half of Africa's population is not fully recognized as equal partners in society. In Washington, Mariama Jalou, VOA News.